Hello, Internet, Hook Pros, YouTube, and the viewers. Today we got a package in from Social Smoke. So, let's open it up and have you find out what we're going to be reviewing one of today and two of in separate videos because when you see a box this size and shape from Social Smoke, it amazingly fits three canisters. I don't know how they do it. It's some sort of magic origami. But let's get it open. And since it's fall and Florida, which means uh, I've been outside a little more than ever before, I've kind of been inspired by the outdoors and such to open up this package. So. And get your foot on it, kind of helps you things to stick foot, you know? Got it. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Okay, first out is Social Smokes Cantaloupe Chill. Mm, a little apprehensive about that because I'm not the biggest fan of real cantaloupe. But I like candies that are claimed to be cantaloupe flavored. So. Oh, damn, that smells good. Oh. Mmm. The chill comes through a lot. And somehow, melon and mint. I mean, let me close my um, uh, cleaner alert warning thing on the computer there. Melon and mint go fantabulously together. Well, mint and anything usually go good together, but it smells so fresh, and from the aroma, I am anticipating a throat cooling effect. So there's number one. Number two, Social Smokes Pear Chill. Ah, we've got a chill thing going on. We've got two chilled fruits. Is the cantaloupe a fruit? Are melons fruit? Maybe. Anyway, Social Smoke's Pear Chill. Similar kind of uh, advertisement going on here with the imagery of the mint leaves mixed in with it, but I noticed that the mint leaves on the cantaloupe are much darker than the ones with the pear. Weird. I don't know. I guess we asked our art department about that. Well, pear chill. Whew, it's got... It's very confusing. It gives me the idea of now or later's banana. Yeah. Huh. It does smell very pearish, but it's very yellow, yellow pear. And a little bit of banana-y. And the mint is not, the mint is not quite as prominent. It's there, but it doesn't smell so separate, if you know what I mean. And our last chill flavor is Hong Kong milk tea. Hong Kong milk tea. It doesn't sound very chill. Maybe my idea of the theme of this was all wrong, but anyway. Hong Kong milk tea, and they look like they've got a uh, creamy looking tea there. Yeah, can you focus on that? Not much. I apologize for the fact that there's an inferno over this shoulder, but I did stick two large pieces of cardboard in there to help cover the window, and it still looks like some sort of portal. Anyhow, Hong Kong milk tea. Ooh, kind of not sour, but kind of hmm. earthy, chocolatey undertone. It smells like a sweet, sweet cream milk. It's not bitter, but kind of a low fat smell, if that makes any sense. And plastic. Well, that could be the plastic packaging I'm shoving up my nose. 
that is very mm, interesting because it's not what I would picture thinking Hong Kong milk tea. Perhaps I don't know what Hong Kong milk tea is. I'm going to have to look that up before reviewing this one. But the first thing that comes to mind is bubble tea. This picture is absolutely not bubble tea. All right. Well, the winner of which one will be reviewed first shall be... Uh, I don't have a coin on me, so it's going to be a eraser flip. All right. Between um, the first two... I didn't knock shit over, trust me. Um, between the first two, the pear and the cantaloupe, I'm going to say that the logo is the pear and the blank is the cantaloupe. Pear. All right. Pear, you've got one more chance between uh, pear and Hong Kong tea. So Hong Kong tea is now going to be the logo. Blank. All right. Looks like the first review win goes to the pear that has a mysteriously light meant to... Ooh, but it does seem to have a an anticipatorily cooling effect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back after a quick cut. Well, cut in the video and... Oops. A cut in the package. But I just noticed... <clears throat> this fell out. This is new. This looks a little new. Oh, yeah! They printed out uh, user instructions on how to pack a bowl. That's pretty nice. The first time I saw this, I think, was... What brand was that? Another brand does this. Oh, Hayes. The first time I saw this done was in a Hayes container, I think. Now, if Social Smoke has been doing this for a long time, my apologies, because well, obviously I've never looked in the little pamphlet then. Okay. I've got it all loaded up. My uh, ballpoint pen slash medical apparatus hose going on. And I have to be honest, this flavor does confuse me. And I think the majority of the reason that the flavor is so confusing is that I am not personally a eater of many pears. And when I was little, we had the pears in the cans with all that horrible saccharine sweet juice, and I greatly disliked them because of the syrup that was in it, the pear syrup. Now, I think somehow subconsciously I'm connecting the two because both of them have somewhat of a natural pear flavor. I mean, both of them as in the canned pears I had when I was little and this. Both have an undertone of natural pear, and psychologically I'm comparing them when I shouldn't be. This bowl has just gotten started. Ooh, that's evolving. The flavor is evolving already before I got to get out what the original inclination was. That's okay. You don't need to know what that is. You just need to know what it should be. And I think it should be what it's turning into as far as the fact that the bowl's heating up. And I think it's tasting better. Very peculiar, very, very different for me, because I'm not a, a pear consumer on average, but it has kind of a pear fruit roll-up, if you can imagine that essence going on. Not in a bad way, not in like a super saccharine syrup from the can way, but more of a natural fruit leather kind of pear. And there's lots of mint, and it's a fresh, bitey mint, and it's very 
Mm, almost gum mint, like spearmint. Yeah, spearmint. Definitely a nice, fresh, crispy spearmint in there. And that muddles the taste buds for me to be able to identify the the pear clearly. Not in a bad way, in a very tasty way. Mm. Ooh, this is a stumper. Well, oh, it's good. It's delicious. At first, before it really got going, I was going to say it had an artificial plasticky taste. But that is completely gone. As soon as the bowl is properly heated up, that unfortunate artificialness seems to have dissipated. And I think that artificialness came from the pear meat's unheated, thoroughly spearmint. So, don't worry about that. When I first opened the packet, I had this intense smell of what I can only describe as Skittles, pear, and lime. And I was getting a very citrusy kind of smell from the shisha before I heated it up. I was wondering if that would come through and this would be like a pear Skittles mint bowl. But it's not really. Wind cover. Well, it doesn't disappoint. It is good. It is tasty. And I have figured out what the underlying mysterious flavor is. So it's pear and fairly natural, truly natural pear, but it's got an undertone of that golden apple flavor and then spearmint. And that's what confused me because that's what it tastes like. It's like pear, golden apple, spearmint. It's all mixed up. And it's nice and cooling with the spearmint, but it's not as cooling as I would have anticipated. Smoke is, uh, once it's nice and fully heated, it's, it's social smoke standard, big, poofy, white-out clouds. So, uh, yeah, there's a good deal of sneaky golden apple to me in this flavor. And that's very nice. So, if I'm going to rate it on accuracy to description, which is chill pear, I think of chill as being icy mint. This is spearmint. So it's not really fitting the description of chill to me. But if we're going with chill meaning generic mint, then yeah, it fits. If we're going with Netflix and chill, not really. Um... Ha uh ha, -huh. I made a pop culture joke. Oh, I feel terrible for doing that. Anyway, and pear, yes, there's pear, but they don't tell you about the flavor of that crispy golden yellow apple in there. Definitely a nice, sweet flavor that doesn't come out candy candy, even though it has some sort of mysterious Skittles essence hiding underneath there. So I would definitely recommend it to introduce your newbies to. 
However, experienced folks who who dig a good fruity fruit mix, that's it's good. Now I realize those were both acclamations and not actual ratings. So in an overall, you know, out of 10 situation, I'm going to give it a, a very strong 8.37. I will smoke it again. I will recommend it for newbies and friends, especially one friend I've got in mind. But I'm not entirely sure if this is a flavor I would buy for my own personal stash. I will, however, say that the clouds are getting phenomenal. If you're a cloud chaser, yay, another buzzword. Yep. Alright, folks. Until next bowl.